In the Bible, they say, but what for you, yeah, the Baba, right? In the Shashi, also they say, but what for you, yeah, the Baba, holy way, so that you can live long. People don't understand when they say you can live long. So that I don't care about that. I don't care about my daddy. I don't care about my mommy. I just want to do what I want to do in life. Just, it's a, a child talking. Immaturity. A child talking. Adults. We're going to your philosophy now. The adult will calm down. Use calm tone. Talk in a straightforward uh, way, not taking sides, explaining every sentence, explaining everything. And then you say, Do you have something to say? And then if you say youth, the youth will be, uh, but Well, I'm so hungry, I'm, I'm hungry because they, 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 didn't, they didn't treat me right. And da, 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 da. I understand your plight, predicament. But guess what? You need to calm down because when you talk in anger, that's when you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you abuse the elders. You abuse everybody. Now you have to say sorry to them, right? So why do you think about that before you start talking? So that you won't be saying sorry again. Now there's war. The whole city is destroyed, people killed, children killed, mothers killed, everybody, everybody killed, and they say you are smart. No, you are not smart, you are not thinking because you are you're supposed to open your mouth and talk. And words that should come from your mouth should be words that are pleasing. So that you neutralize any animosity in the community. Can you bring yourself up to that level? This is how we are supposed to be. Teaching the youth so that they don't go out and behave irrationally. That's why this air is so important. And people say, Well, I don't care when I'm here. Well, it's the same thing. You are still saying the same thing in the cycle because that air is so important. People don't know. Oh, very heavy in the mouth for the child to say. The moment the child says, Oh, to an adult, that's a big offense. <laughs> That's a big offense, but because we are speaking English, it's neutralized. The word O is neutralized because it, I'm telling you that I am, you're not supposed to say I am to another. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to weigh your words. And then you can say, sorry, sir, or you know, this is my point. You can say it in a way the adult will understand. Put the sir there, just respect, show respect. That's good because when you, you become 60 something year old, the little child will come to you and say the same. Then you start to feel it. You start to say, I used to say this to my dad or to my an adult. Now I see the effect. Why don't you learn it now so that you don't see the effect in the future? That's what I keep telling you. Right? Let's move on. Okay, Iya, mother, family and age categories. Iya, mother, Baba, father. That's universal too, right? In some places. Your boss also use mama sometimes. And when you go to Oyo or Ibado, they start to use a slang like mommy. Instead of saying mommy, they will say mommy. Instead of saying mommy, right? Or mommy, they say mommy. Mommy. In lay in lots of for you, they wash you look for mommy. You they wash you. I want to go and get some jam in my mother's farm. All right? Omo child. Omo. They have one word for the three year, uh, three day old child, or one day old child, or one week old child. They call them ikoko, ikoko.
call them Ikoko. And when they want to praise the child, they use this word. This word describes something soft, right? Does it remind you of jello? Jojolo. So precious, so, so fragile, so precious. You want to hold that child gently. You don't want to be so hard on it. That this is why they use that. This Ikoko. Yes. But Jojolo and Fernet, is that just for the young child? For the yeah. Not yeah. for older. Okay. Then you can use it for, for a child that is already walking to, you know, because they said they are friends of God, mm -hmm. right? They said, let the children come to me, because they are tied at the kingdom of heaven, right? That's in the Bible. But Yoruba used to say that without even opening the Bible, right? So, Jujulo means something that you that you appreciate, that you not let any bad thing come to, right? That if you see anything that's about to harm that child, you're ready to disperse that thing, right? When you hold something precious to your heart, if anything stands up and raises an arm to hold that thing, what do you do? You defend. You go there to defend. And as an adult, <laughs> you raise a hand of money and say, Why you? <laughs> Stay clear. And then this, they back off. Right? That's how it is. Is there a word for a child who's older? Like if you want to praise a child who's nine or change? You won't, you won't use Jojo for a child who's uh, already in high school, um, about to graduate. Or, that's not a Jojo. <laughs> that's already. <laughs> I, I bought, she's already thinking. She's already got her own personal personality and thinking and constructing and, and you know, brainstorming and doing all that. That person. Uh, if you want to praise that person, come on me. Then you start to use the praise words. And that you will learn. There are some words that you say to your child to make that child's head swell. Like, come uh, on me, and we can. And then da, 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 da. this one we'll deal with later because there are many of them. 